Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another session. So in the previous session we have seen uh, the Dunning end-to-end -end configuration. Now in this session I will be covering the Dunning uh, from Dunning side what are the end-user activities. So basically once uh, for every month uh, they will be executing the Dunning. So on uh, based on their client requirement they will be executing the Dunning on those basis. So in my uh, example i have mentioned like uh, each for each every 10 days so the ar team accounts receivable team will execute this dunning on a daily basis they will execute so whatever the transactions are due uh overdue those line items uh, system will automatically pick based on this dunning procedure setup we have seen in the previous session so now i will be showing how to execute the dunning so here expand the accounting and then financial accounting and then here you can see accounts receivable and then here uh, select the po periodic processing and then here you will see the dunning just double click here so now here you will see the transaction code which is a f150 so here uh, i will be executing the dunning on uh, 31st 5 2024 and my run identification would be 2008 you need to mention something like this and then hit enter and then click on parameters just mention the dunning date and the company code and if you are executing the dunning for specific customers you just need to maintain the range if you want to uh, execute this program for all the customers which has been created in the system for this again to this company code you just mention zzzz here and then hit enter and then click on save so the, the parameters have been saved now now click on schedule here and enter the lp01 as the output device and then select here start immediately then system will create one batch batch job and then it will automatically start processing and uh, it will complete then click on dispatch here so here you can see Dunning job F150 uh, with the date and the identification number one was scheduled successfully then hit enter so we will see uh, whether the job has been successfully run or not go to transaction SM37 to check the job okay select the scheduled and click on execute here you can see uh, the job has been successfully scheduled and it's also already finished so now I'm going back to here. So uh, here you can see zero dunning notice has been generated. So if you want, I will show you the log here. And log also it's not mentioned anything. Print log, no. So so actually the issue is uh, we have created the procedure, but we have not uh, assigned this dunning procedure at our customer level. So that's why system is not uh, picking the overdue items. So let me go back to the transaction code BP and give your customer number here. Click on start. And then in the company code level, here we need to assign our dunning procedure which we have uh, created. MP. so my dunning procedure would be 2000 so i will be assigning the same in my customer master data here you can see then hit enter and click on save so i will open another session you will see uh, how many open items we have and how many customers we have against this company code fpl 5 n then hit enter and then give the company code here 2000 and uh, select the open item and click on execute so here you can see uh, for this company code i have uh, two customers 611100 and 611009 so here you can see the line items as well here uh, i have uh, three line items here one i have one line item so now I have uh, updated the dunning procedure for this customer. Yeah. 
so now i will be updating the dining processor for this customer as well but uh, for this line item uh, first i will uh, block this line item we'll see here then again um, i will be accessing the transaction code bp and selecting the other customer and i am assigning the dunning procedure here then save first we will see uh, whether the system will pick all the transactions or not then we'll later we'll see uh, the dunning block function as well so now i have assigned it now i am going to delete this proposal it has been deleted now again i am going to schedule again select the lp01 and click on continue here and uh, start in immediately and click on dispatch then hit enter so now here we can see two dunning notice were generated so we have a uh, two uh, the two gen dunning notice has been generated now if you go in the log i don't see anything and uh, click on select a uh, sample printout here and give the lp01 and click on continue and then click start immediately and then click on uh, display so here we can see so here we can see the dunning notice for first notice it was showing for this customer 611009 and scroll down here we can see the line item uh, value is 5000 and the dunning charges are 50 and total are here it's showing as a uh, total due item is 5050 here you can see the so the first dunning process system is showing for this line item and if you go back here and click on back then system will show you the other dunning form for the other customer which is uh, which is having three line items like a 10,000, 10,000 and 50,000 IR not this one here you can see uh, 10,000, 10,000 USD and 4,000 USD so for this also system has uh, added uh, 50, 50 USD as a dunning charges okay yeah now we will see in the second scenario we will uh, use the block indicator then we will see uh, whether the system is uh, considering that customer as well for the dunning procedure or not okay now i will be in uh, this for customer so here i will update the dunning block which we have created in the previous session uh, which is a uh, customer promise to promise to make the payment so just select this one and click on save and come out of from this screen and come here and come one step back here one more step back just delete this uh, data the proposal which we have created just delete this one and now again click on select the lp01 and click on continue and start immediately and click on dispatch now hit enter now here we can see two dunning notice are generated which one are to be sent see here to earlier if you can observe two dunning notice are generated and uh, uh, out of which one two can be sent now we have updated the dunning block so system has not considered to send that dunning procedure so if you want to see just click on uh, sample printout and click on lp01 this one and click on continue here and click on display before print so here we can see this is a customer name and customer account number and all the details and then click on one step back here system has generated only one turning procedure turning notice and then come one step back here and now again i'm clicking on delete this proposal and i'm going back to that customer i will remove the dunning block and i will again re rerun it delete 
with the turning block and then come out of from this screen and again click on schedule here lp01 and click on continue and click on dispatch here then hit enter here we can see two running notices are generated which two are sent two are to be sent and then click on running printout again give the running lp01 and click on continue and then click on print so here we can see two running notices are print running run completed customers two for two customers we have executed this successfully so now let's see uh, what is the impact at uh, customer level customer master data level there will be some impact the dunning level should be updated by the system automatically so we will see uh, whether the dunning uh, level has been updated or not go to the transaction code bp and then enter your customer number here just double click here so if you scroll down here you can see the dunning level dunning level 1 has been updated previously it was not updated when you uh, when i was updating uh, removing the dunning block it was not updated dunning level so i will show you the other customer as well so this is a uh, 6110 this one and i will show you now this customer as well so for this customer also dunning level 1 will be updated again going back to transaction bp and selecting the other customer and double click here so here dunning level 1 has been we have done so dunning level 1 has been updated it means uh, in for my dunning processor we have created four levels so that uh, first one is completed so that's why system is updated the dunning level 1 has been completed if you if you did the second level then system will update the dunning 2 has been done likewise uh, system will update this is the impact when you run the dunning uh, dunning in sap in the master data level this is the update at the master data level okay this is uh, one of the uh, interview question which i have faced in my previous uh, interviews just uh, remember this thing so that's all in this session thank you so much for watching my videos